So I'm here at my brother's house, and I wanted to do a quick review on this NES emulator that I own. And uh, I keep it here because it's shared between my brother and I, because he doesn't have an NES. But um, it is the Generation NEX by Messiah. Now, here's the actual unit itself. As you can see, it's modeled after the classic uh, front loader NES. Uh, it's got standard AV out, even though... Uh, Dunrick unplugged it to work as DVD player. Um, it's got nine volt power, and it's as you can see, you know, it's very, very small, light, and compact, and whatever. It's got the power reset buttons right there. Okay, now right here in the front, this is where you stick in the NES cartridges. I didn't bring any with me, but this thing has a very low failure rate. Like if you know. On the original NES, you got to blow on them and move them around, do all sorts of crap. Well, you really don't have to do that with this, so it's really nice. And also, if anyone's familiar with the Famicom, which is the Japanese-only NES, which had Japanese-only games, the, you know, the Famicom cartridges, for anyone who's seen them, they're, they're these little um, orange things. Well, you can actually play them on this. If you get them, if you get those Japanese cartridges, you could stick them in the top here and play them. So, that's really awesome. i got to get some... Famicom games. Oh, let me talk about the controllers. Now, this thing actually comes with uh, wired controllers, which you'll see now. Yeah, here's the regular um, NEX controller. It's it's kind of it's kind of small, but it's a good fit in your hand. It's got a pretty good D-pad. In place of select and start, it's got turbo and slow, like an NES Advantage or NES Max. And up here, it has start and select. And, you know, here's A and B, and it has uh, shoulder buttons, which are completely fucking pointless because no games utilize it. And if you look at the controller slots, you know, they're the same as the original. Like, you could use the wired controllers that come with it, or, you know, you could, you could use the original NES controllers or, you know, the old dog bone or whatever. You know, you, you could use them. But what I use, and this is cool, you can buy wireless controllers for this thing which is really cool see right over here it's got a wireless on off switch and uh, as you can see the wireless controllers they got the turbo and slow again like the NES Max um, select start which aren't really buttons regular BA the only problem I really have with it is the d-pad is like it's it's round it's a disc and it can turn so it's basically it's just like the Intellivision uh, D-pad, if anyone's familiar with that. So, yeah, in, in like if you're playing a fast-paced game like Ninja Gaiden or something, it kind of sucks. But, you know, anything else, it's alright. Now, if you go wireless, you could go up to four-player with these things. And, um, yeah, there's the on-off. They use two AAA batteries. Something else cool about the wireless controllers... They come with these receiver things, so you can go wireless on your original NES or front loader or whatever. You know, you just you plug it in, uh, set the channel, and uh, you can get a wireless even on your old system. So, that's cool. And also, I hear that they make these same wireless controllers for Super Nintendo, so I gotta get some of those. Alright, three more things I gotta talk about. There was this thing that was for the Japanese-only Famicom, an attachment called the Famicom Disk System, and I don't know how to get one or anything. In fact, I don't even want one. I don't even give a shit, but... Um, I found out that you can... that that thing is actually compatible with a Generation NEX, so that's pretty cool. Also, this, an NES Game Genie, you know, cheat device. Weird thing, this does not work with my front loader NES. It doesn't. It just doesn't or it's too hard or whatever. It works fine with this thing though, so I leave it up here. Now one con about the system, the one really con about the system itself is that um, when you put a game and turn it on, whatever, the volume is really low. Like you have to like double or triple the volume on your TV to hear the game. Maybe it's just this TV because I, you know, you can't plug um, stereo into the friggin' thing, but uh, I don't know. If point is, if you find the system somewhere, uh, pick it up because it's um, it's a great little thing to have. Okay, I'd like to wish all my Christian subscribers a happy Easter or belated Easter whenever this video goes up. I don't celebrate Easter, but uh, that's not going to stop me from eating this 
epic rabbit.